today let's take up the question uh, on pro rata allotment now here we have the question tista limited issued 40000 shares of rupees 10 each payable as rupees 3 on application 5 on allotment and 2 on the first and final call they received applications for 1 lakh shares the excess money received on application was allowed to be adjusted on allotment as well as on the first and final call any money over that had to be returned immediately now the allotment table is shown here four categories category a they applied for 10,000 shares shares allotted nil category B they applied for 20,000 shares shares allotted 15,000 category C they applied for 30,000 shares allotted as 15,000 and category D they applied for 40,000 shares allotted as 10,000 now we'll be looking at how the application money received on the shares is to be adjusted towards allotment and the first and final call. Now I am going to take up each category separately. This is category A, they applied for 10,000, they were allotted nil. So here, shares applied is how much? 10,000. Now what is the application money received from them? This is equal to 10,000 into 3 rupees, 30,000 rupees. Shares allotted is how much? 0, nil. Right? So, the money received on application will have to be refunded. To them that is the whole of this 30,000 will be refunded right this is category A now let's go to category B now category B the shares applied is 20,000 so what is the application money received from them this is 20,000 into 3. That's equal to 60,000 rupees. Now, shares allotted. Shares allotted is equal to 15,000. So, now the amount to be transferred to share capital <coughs> will be equal to the number of allotted shares into the application money. So, 45,000 will go into the share capital. Now, what is the excess money you have? 60,000 <coughs> minus 45,000 which is equal to 15,000. So, this 15,000 will be adjusted towards allotment right now category C <coughs> now here the shares applied is 30,000 so the application money received from them is 30,000 into 3 which is equal to 90,000 rupees right now, shares allotted is equal to 15,000. So, the amount that goes in the share capital will be how much? 15,000 into the application money that is 45,000. Now, what is the excess that you have? 90,000 minus 45,000 which is equal to 45,000. So, this 45,000 will be adjusted towards allotment right you have to keep in mind one more thing the actual number of shares which is allotted to them is 15,000 right 
so before seeing this uh, adjustment towards allotment you have to see what is the actual amount on due on allotment the actual amount due on allotment is 15000 into 5 75000 which is more than the excess money <coughs> So the whole of this excess money will be adjusted towards this allotment, right? Now let's see category D. Here, the shares applied is 40,000, right? So application money received on them will be 40,000 into 3, which is equal to 1,20,000. Now shares allotted is only 10,000 so into the share capital we will put how much 10,000 into 3 which is equal to 30,000 right now the excess that you have after this is 1,20,000 minus 30,000 which is equal to 90,000 okay now let's come to this share allotment now, these people have been allotted only 10,000 shares, right? So, actual amount that is due on allotment is how much? 10,000 into 5. It's only 50,000 rupees, whereas we have got 90,000 as excess. But we can adjust only 50,000 towards share allotment, right? So even after adjusting this 50,000, you will have something left because the uh, money you have is 90,000. So now what is the excess money that you have? 90,000 minus 50,000 which is equal to 40,000. Now come to the first and final call. Now the amount which is actually due on the first and final call is only 10,000 into 2 which is equal to 20,000. So, out of 40,000, right, 20,000 <coughs> will be adjusted towards first and final call. Okay, even after this, <coughs> we will have an excess. We will have an excess of how much? 40,000 minus 20,000 which is equal to 20,000 rupees will be refunded this will be refunded to the applicants right these are the four categories that we have now the <clears throat> journal entry the first entry will be bank account debit to share application account that will be 1 lakh into 3 because total 1 lakh shares were received, right? Now, the <coughs> main thing is here. Share application account debit is 3 lakh, right? Out of that, the amount to be transferred to the share capital is only for 40,000 shares because 40,000 shares have been issued. So, 40,000 into 3 is how much? 1 lakh 20,000. See, it's like this 40,000 into 3, right? 1 lakh 20,000 goes here. Okay, now let's see how much has to be refunded. <coughs> now, category D, we had this 20,000 was to be refunded, right? Look at this category A, 30,000 will be refunded. So, 30 plus 20 is 50,000. So, here you will have 50,000 to be refunded. Okay. Now, let us come to the allotment. The uh, amount to be adjusted towards allotment. Just add up all these things. See. Category D, it was um, share allotment. Towards share allotment, it was 50,000. Here it is. 45,000 so 50 plus 45,000 95,000 and here it is 15,000 95 plus 15,000 is 1 lakh 10,000 so here you will have the adjustment I mean the amount that will go into allotment is 1 lakh 10,000 
and then to share first and final call account now here to share in first to share first and final call account this uh, 20000 rupees right which we have put here out of this 40000 20000 will be adjusted right okay and for category C and category B there was nothing for share first and final call so only this 20000 rupees will have to be adjusted so here we will write <coughs> 20,000. Now, if you add up all this, this is 1,20,000, this one, 50, 1,70,000, 1,90,000, and then 3 lakh. It's coming to 3 lakh. So, this is the basic entry that you have to make. After this, it becomes easy, right? Then, the normal thing like what is to be received on share allotment 40,000 shares means. 40,000 into 5 will is due on share allotment, but already you have got 1,10,000, right? Okay, so I can write like this, <coughs> share allotment to share capital is how much? 40,000 shares into 5, that comes to 2 lakh rupees, right? But the actual amount that will be received is 2 lakh minus 1,10,000, so you will have bank account debit to share allotment that will be only 1 lakh sorry uh, that will be 90,000 rupees only right same way shared first and final call account debit to share capital that is 40,000 into 2 rupees which is equal to 80,000 rupees now out of that 80,000 rupees, 20,000 rupees is already adjusted. So now you will write to share first and final call account. This is only 60,000. So this is how you will do such questions where they have given different categories and different types of uh, ratios have been followed for allotting them the share. So you will find out what is the excess amount for each category and each category uh, the excess amount will be adjusted towards share allotment and if the question says first and final call then you will adjust it in first and final call also in this question they have said it was allowed to be adjusted on allotment as well as on the first and final call in some of the questions they give it has to be adjusted only for allotment and whatever is the excess is to be refunded so that money will go as a refund right so with that i'll come to the end of this uh, session bye